issue. Kyle getting around. We saw in the background there the 38 got around the 66. Oh, oh, a big one on the front straight here. And Bowman's involved. The 30. Stewart Friesen, caution out. And we're going to have that restart we were talking about. Josh Balicki was the 30 truck involved. There's Friesen to a stop. Look at the damage. Heavy damage on that Balicki machine. Window net down, and uh, typically that's the indication from the driver. You see the window net down and the 52 as well, letting the AMR safety crew and NASCAR officials know that. That was a big hit. They, they put are the wall okay. down in turn one. This could necessitate a red flag. The wall being punched back. Friesen climbing out under his own power. That's been an eventful day, hasn't it, Vince, for Stuart Friesen. Everywhere we looked, action was all around him, and that action there took him out. Inside of five laps to go. So Kyle Busch, Chandler Smith, Zane Smith, Ty Majeski, Ross Chastain, Filling out the top five and uh, Parker Kligerman there in sixth. They're going to have to. They're going to have to restart and uh, battle wheel to wheel again, at least one more time to determine the winner here today. As Friesen's truck will be put on the hook and the same for the 30 of Balicki. So the drivers have gotten out of their vehicles and be taken to the infield care center to be checked out. The field creeping by here, led by Kyle Busch. To see the 99 have been Rhodes there, but he had just come out of, uh, come off pit lane uh, and merged in there between Kyle and Chandler. Yeah, that's a good He's thing. He's a lap down. Chandler, for Chandler, I think that this caution comes out. I mean, there's nothing good about a big crash, obviously, but for Chandler Smith, it gets it gets uh, Rhodes out of the way. He was going to be between the two, uh, between he and Kyle Busch, and now he's going to be gone, getting uh, back on the lead lap or round and on his way uh, up toward the front or back to the end of the field, and this will give uh, Rhodes another shot at it. Excuse me, Chandler Smith another shot at it. You saw the seven of Alex Bowman, the heavy damage to that truck. Remember, he had gotten that pit lane penalty, which had put him back in the field. So there's Balicki. Looked like Friesen got into the back end of him. Boy, that's a hard hit for that Man, 30. That is a bad angle. But again, we we saw we saw Balicki climb out of that club, out of that truck. That is a massive testament to the safety that NASCAR mandates and and the bar i mean watch the angle here the the biggest thing you're always worried about in the crash is the angle that you're going into the wall and this is practically 90 degrees right here big mm -hmm. hit those hans devices those roll bars those door bars those seats especially uh let him walk away from that with probably nothing but a hurt bruised ego lawless allen got some damage in there as well we mentioned the seven of bowman that pit road penalty, pit road is so critical of having a clean day. And uh, obviously the penalty for Bowman put him in a position to get damage in that crash. I mean, that was a truck that could have won the race. Easy. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, kind of takes us back to Coda, right? I mean, uh, Kyle Busch seemed like he had that one in hand and all of a sudden a late race caution means that we have to restart what Kyle led, I think, 31 of the 33 final laps at Coda. But then we had that overtime, ended up losing the lead in that wheel-to-wheel uh, -wheel and some contact, and Zane Smith got by. 